Hi everybody. So first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for your patience. I haven't put a video up in, I don't, I don't even know how long. It's been a little while. I had some random things come up. Uh, mostly I had to get some emergency root canals, but everything is good and squared away and everything's feeling good now. Uh, so I am glad to be back and uh, thank you if you were checking up on me and waiting patiently. Uh, recently, Robin at Talks from the Heart came to visit. Uh, she was in my neck of the woods. We do not live near each other, uh, but since she was close by, we decided to meet up and basically shenanigans ensued and we had so much fun. So. On her channel, which I will link in the description, and on my channel, we have a bunch of collab videos that are slowly gonna be uh, released. So for this particular video, we wanted to vlog how I get my notebooks cut down. When I have a thicker notebook like this, I do not like to cut these down myself. And what I have said in the past, and if you, if, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you most likely have seen me talk about thicker notebooks that I've had cut down, uh, usually to standard size. So I used to go to Office Depot, and I think most of them will still do it. So uh, someplace like Office Depot or Staples, like of that sort, they will usually cut down a thick notebook for you. Uh, mine started refusing me. I mean, I don't know why, but they didn't want to do it anymore. And I went to FedEx and they were always willing to cut down notebooks for me. So with Rob in here, she suggested that we should, um, well, she was going to film me as I went about getting some of my notebooks cut down. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the informational part now in case that's all you're here for um, because the vlog did not go according to plan, uh, mostly because FedEx did not allow filming inside the store. So, uh, which I, I totally understand. I didn't even call beforehand to verify, so we found out when we were there. Uh, so I was going to end up having to tell you how it went in the end anyway. So I'm just going to do that now. So I ended up having two A5 notebooks cut down to B6 Slim size. Uh, B6 Slim is currently what I'm in. This is a leather cover from Lacau. I'm currently in a Nanami Cafe note. I don't really prefer notebooks that are this thick, uh, but these two are like so ideal in, in thickness and number of pages for me. So these are about half the thickness of a Nanami Cafe Note. So uh, like I said, these were both A5. This is a Hobonichi plain notebook. And this is a Taroko Design Breeze notebook. And this one has 52 GSM uh, Tomoe River paper and the breeze has 60 oh gosh 68 GSM uh, Tomoe River paper uh, and I, I love both I do prefer 68 so anyway uh, when I go in to FedEx I tell them the measurements that I want so the end measurements so let me see here I'm gonna separate these so basically, yeah, I got this cut off the top. I, hold on. Okay, so I told uh, the person behind the counter that I wanted the end notebook to measure 4.25 inches across with the book closed. That's how uh, 4.25 inches across. And then it was to measure seven inches tall. So what they do is they have like a cutting machine and they stick the notebook in it and then punch in the measurements, I suppose. And then the machine just slices and that's it. Okay, so when I gave him the measurements, 
uh, I told him that I wanted this one to be cut on the top here. So I wanted seven inches from the bottom to the top and then the excess at the top to be cut off. And that is mainly because on the back here, it has Hobonichi written at the bottom and I didn't want that cut off. That was Robin's suggestion because she had her plain notebook cut off and told them, they, I think they just automatically cut it at the bottom. And she kind of lamented the fact that it cut off the Hobonichi brand at the bottom. So I had this one cut across the top, which, which I had to request, I had to clarify that. And for the Breeze notebook, because the embossing is closer to the top, I wanted them to cut the height off at the bottom here. So uh, he just wrote it down on a scrap piece of paper to make sure, you know, he, he didn't forget anything. Um, it literally took like two seconds for both of these to get chopped off. And then I requested to have the scraps that were cut off. So they just rubber band them together and they gave them to me. Um, I've had notebooks cut down before where I forgot to request the scraps and they went ahead and trashed them. So um, that is basically it as far as price goes. The way they charged me for these, I don't know if this guy did it right, but he, they're supposed to charge per cut. But instead of charging me for two cuts here for like the one notebook, he just charged me like as if this was one cut, um, which I don't think that's what they were supposed to do. So, um, they charged me for a single cut and that's a uh, dollar 75. So I had two. So this one and this one, and then they charge a dollar 49 as a cutting setup fee. Um, I, I don't know, uh, but that's what they charge. So in total with tax, I, uh, I paid $5.34 to have both of these cut down to be six slim size. And that's really it. I do know that Office Depot charges a lot less. It's a buck 75 for one cut, but I li I think if I remember correctly, it's like 75 cents for one cut at Office Depot. Uh, my choices are limited now, so I have to use FedEx, but I mean, they will cut any notebook as long as it's like less than an inch and a half thick, which I mean, if we're cutting down regular notebooks and journals and stuff, they're really not gonna like run bigger than that, run thicker than that. I did bring this, which you will see in the vlog. And this is a hard cover. And when I asked if something like this could get cut down, uh, they said no. So they won't do anything like this with a hard cover. So it has to be a soft cover or cardboard type of cover. And that's basically the limit. So it's very straightforward. I know a lot of people do this now. And I have gotten strange looks when I go in um, and people are like, why do you want to cut down a, a perfectly good notebook? But I've never had anything miscut. I've never had any notebooks ruined at Office Depot or at FedEx, even when people are kind of confused by my request, because it's the process is pretty automated using that machine. So they punch in the number, the machine does the work, and everything comes out like nice and crisp. And obviously you're not going to get like rounded corners. They're going to be uh, pretty angular and pokey, but uh, as long as you're okay with that, you're going to get a really beautifully clean cut. That has been my experience. So I highly recommend. Okay. So now for the embarrassing footage, um, like I said, we could, we couldn't film the process. So uh, what you're about to see is just Robin and I in the car explaining what we're about to do. And it's mostly just laughing and me being 100% awkward in front of the camera. I did not know where to edit the vlog 
because I there wasn't a really good starting point. So it is what it is and just enjoy the hysterics that are coming. <laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> First of all, okay, wait, you're right. Angle. You're, you're, I need to be not oh, the focus. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. Way better. Get that, yeah, that, okay. But I can't even see the picture. Okay, wait. You can do this. Is that better for you? Oh, that's perfect. Look, they see my shoulder, <laughs> and then when you say my name, I go, I like that. Oh, rude. No, I like that. Okay. It's recording, so hang on. Okay. Just get your, just say, breathe. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Sarah Martinez, and I'm looking over here. I have to yeah, look you have over to here. This black dot right here. Up here? Yeah. This. No, this, this right here. That right there. This one? Yeah. Or this one? Nope. See? Oh, okay, okay, I'm looking at it now. Am I looking okay. in the camera? Okay, first of all, you need to get a little bit more, like, there we go. Oh, oh, that's better. Oh, my God. Hi, everybody. Looking over here. Hi, everybody. This is the worst. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> I the just beat myself. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is awkward and we're just gonna like shoot past this and pretend that this isn't the most awkward situation for me. So I am Sarah Martinez and the only reason my mug is in a video is because I have Robin <laughs> from Talks from the Heart. Hi everybody! And we are hanging out together yes. and having an amazing time. <laughs> I just laughed so hard I peed my pants. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is supposed to be an informative video. Um, so <clears throat> good luck to us. <laughs> okay, so we are at FedEx because we are gonna get some notebooks cut down and we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So this is my FedEx in my town, the one I go to, and Robin has all my notebooks. So we're gonna do that one. It's the um, Taroko Design Breeze notebook. Everything's A5 size. And then the Hobonichi Plain Notebook. And then- Maybe this one, you weren't sure. Yeah, maybe um, this is just a Midori MD, that's a dot grid one. And I'm not gonna do this one. I'm just gonna ask them if this is something that they can do. It's just a generic notebook from AC Moore, but it is a hard cover. Like it's a really thick cover, which I've never had cut down, but I'm gonna ask if, if that's something that they could do. So we're gonna vlog this for you. And I think it was my idea. And right now Sarah's gonna, she wants to throw me back. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, hey, you know what? We're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna stick to our word because you remember my video about having a yes, YouTube channel. Because you put that out there. I did. I did. So I blame me, but I blame don't you promise too. something you can't produce. <laughs> but I will say this: <clears throat> on a serious note, this hardcover hardcover notebook that's more cheap. More cheaper. I'm not sure that's proper more grammar. Che more cheaper. It yeah. is. That's proper grammar. Mm, nope, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Um, this we were we were really really admiring. Am I right? Oh yes, the binding. The binding. So this is the MD, the Hobonichi, and the Taroko. And I'm not sure we're gonna be able to get. I mean, <laughs> there. But just the signatures are so beautiful and how they're made. Way better prepared to cut it down. Oh right? yeah. Cause yeah, it'll it'll hold its Well we're cutting across the spine too. Because uh one of these are gonna be B6 slim, so we're gonna have to cut along the spine. How um, am I doing as a van? You're just you're, you're better than me. <laughs> That's for but sure. Yeah, so you you do you do an Sarah may get on here and do a little blip 
and I'm just gonna create an edit spot right here. Bing! Where, <laughs> sh we're back! Where she can talk about, because <clears throat> we just came from breakfast and I said, one of your signature things that I love about your video, Sarah, is that you're always so detail oriented. Like you're, like I'm like, here's a notebook, Good luck, people. It's got paper. I'm like, it's got paper, <laughs> and it's pretty, and then I move on. Where you're like, this notebook has Hobonichi paper, and you're so calm about it. And I'm like, oh, not. So, <laughs> one thing, so she may get on here and create just a little um, section, or you may have already really? done it. Edit. I think we just covered that. Okay. Maybe. I, try, I tried to be, I'm a Sarah wannabe, but... <laughs> These are way better built to handle the cut. Was yeah, that they sure a, are. Was not, <laughs> was, not a, was that a serum? No, that's awesome. Yep. I did. I mm -hmm. did good. You did great. Okay. We, All um, right. So. Oh, oh, also, um, I didn't contact FedEx to ask them if they were okay with us filming. So we're just going to film everything. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to ask them if it's okay. And then depending on what they say, we'll record what we can record and i'm gonna yeah. film sarah doing it so i'm All right. so excited yeah about sarah. that <laughs> go sm team <laughs> sarah martinez okay everybody it really is my fault that this video is happening because yeah. on my video i did say we should do it and yeah. so so i uh, blame you all right everybody else i blame you for all my leather purchases okay. so well i'll take we're that. still not even okay <laughs> All right, here we go. Right, here we go. I just want to see what this does. I don't like the under chin. <laughs> <laughs> but like my kids say, it is what it is. <laughs> we both have issues. I'm gonna get it. Where is your monstrosity of a purse compared to this? Okay. It's down there, but... Okay. <laughs> That's it. I am what I am. It's, by the way, it's recording. It's been recording the whole time. We're live We're on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> you. Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did Did you record this on purpose? No. I just looked up here and said, "What?" Did you? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that is everything. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. We had such a good time. Uh, we are going to have uh, a lot more collab videos coming up. So make sure you check out her channel. And uh, oh my gosh, that was some embarrassing stuff. But thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you all again very soon. Bye.